I'm Katie and I'm going to show you a makeup tutorial for moms with tired, dull skin. If you want a refreshed look, if you want to look awake and you want to look like you haven't missed one ounce of sleep as a tired mama, stay tuned and I'm going to show you techniques on how to get a glowy, dewy finish and how to get some great contouring and highlight tips to make you look your very best. First, we're going to prep our skin and I'm going to use this Hourglass Primer Serum. This is a great serum. It's very emollient. I apply it with this brush here. And that's the first step to having glowy, dewy skin is to apply a primer. So makeup without primer is like painting a wall without spackling the spots first. So you definitely want to choose a good primer. And depending on your skin type, if you have oily skin, you'd want a mattifying primer. If you have dry skin like I do, I like primers that are more moisturizing and even an oil-based primer to give me a good glow and a good plump under my foundation. Next, I'm gonna take this Revlon Candid in Nude. The number is 200. I follow another YouTube beauty blogger, Lisa J, and she mentioned this and I've always spent a lot of money on foundation. I won't say I'll always have, but in the recent years, I've stepped up and started spending a little more money on foundation, thinking that it really made more of a difference the more you spent. And sometimes it did, and sometimes it didn't. It was more of a waste of money. But since using this foundation, I've really fallen in love with it. It gives great coverage, and you can see I'm using a, it's not anything special, brush. I got it at Ulta um, and it's just the bristles are close together at the top so it deposits a beautiful foundation finish and I really enjoy using it. So this foundation is buildable and don't forget to bring it down your neck. You don't want to forget that. Bringing the foundation down your neck just gives a more seamless look between the face and the neck as it graduates in the décolleté. Oh gosh, those French words. They get me every time, even though I'm from South Louisiana, the French words sometimes throw me for a loop. So I've used two small pumps of, of this foundation, so I don't consider that a lot. And you can see it gives you a good full coverage. Now my hair, I already curled my hair and I have it pinned back here. It's a little too ringlety, ringlet look for me, so I will be messing it up and giving it a little more natural finish. I'll do a hair tutorial in another video. I'm done with my foundation. Next, next I like to move to a concealer. And the concealer I'm using is also the Revlon Candid. This is 005 in Fair. Take the concealer and the brush on this, I really like the, the tip, it's kind of a sponge tip. And I'm just gonna apply it under my eye. So I've taken my concealer and I've applied it under my eye and then I'm going to apply to the bridge of my nose around the ridge or the little area here under my nose and my chin and then also on my forehead a little bit. Take the same brush as you applied your foundation with. Give yourself a little highlight. And blend that in really well. I really like the Revlon Candid line so far. You don't always need to spend a lot of money on your makeup for it to be quality. I like, also like the Revlon Candid because it doesn't have any bad ingredients in it. So that's sometimes, that's mostly why I've bought the more expensive products is because I know what's in it. Next, I'm gonna apply this Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, anti-aging onto my brow lid, uh, I mean my, my lids. 
and the anti-aging just prevents the eyeliner, the the eyeshadow from getting into your wrinkles and your eye and keeps you getting from getting that crepey eye look. It creates a good canvas to start with for your eyes. Next, I'm going to use a bronzer for some contouring. I'm going to be using the Hoola Benefit. It's just a little tiny trial that I got, but I really like it. I like a bronzer that um, isn't shimmery. I like it to be a matte bronzer. I just personally don't like shimmer. I don't think that if you're over a, probably the age of 25, you should wear shimmery bronzers. So this is a great option. And with the bronzer, I use a big fluffy brush like this and I apply it softly and I push it back into my hairline and then I carve out, use it to carve out your cheekbones here and carve out your jawline and your chin. And then I use a little bit around my nose to carve out a little bit of a nose contour and then I bring it down my neck as well. Your neck is still part of your face, so when it comes to skincare, makeup, remember, apply your skincare where you're applying your face, apply that to your neck, your chest, because it all it's a it's a package deal, baby. All of it comes together. I bought this little Natasha Denona. It's it's been well used. I really have liked it. It's called Mini Sunset Palette. And I just love the colors. So you can see, you know, they're really warm, rich colors and you can build them so you can go for a lighter look or you can build them up and have a more intense look. So that's the palette I'm going to use on my eyes today. Start out using this color here called Halo. And I'm going to use that on my, the main part of my lid. Sort of a beautiful camel, camel color, I think. And I get them applied as far up as right into the crease and don't, I don't apply it under my brow bone. It's too dark to apply under the brow bone. Next, I'm going to apply this color. The name has worn off, so I couldn't even tell you what color it is. But it's this darker brown. And I'm gonna apply that on the outer corners of the eye and blend it in towards the inner corner of the eye. So remember today we're going for an, a beautiful natural look. So it will be a little bit of a smoky eye look and I am going to put on lashes, um, strip lashes at the end. So it's not gonna be as heavy of a look, but it's gonna be natural, but still have a little bit of a pop to it, so. So I'm gonna use this color. It's, it's sort of a bronze glittery color. And I'm just gonna take a brush and just pat it on directly onto my lid. And finally, I'm gonna use this color. Oh, that still has the name on it, Sunbeam. Sunbeam, I love the color, I love Sunbeam. I, just love, I, don't, it, I don't use a lot of it because it can be kind of intense. So I just use the tiniest amount on my brush and I like to use it on the upper portion. You know, it's because it's like a Sunbeam. It, it just is beaming through the clouds bringing an extra little pop and I like to bring it underneath as well a little bit. So those are my eyes. More if you're ever in doubt just blend. Blend more. So there's my eye look. Alright guys, I'm gonna do brows next. I'm gonna show you a product that I have fallen in love with because I have really been wanting to microblade my eyebrows. I have pretty good eyebrows. They're a little sparse, but I've just had some friends do microblading and I see it everywhere and I'm very tempted to do it. It's just permanent and it's 
not cheap. So I found this product called Urban Decay Brow Blade. And I love this product and it takes a little practice, but I think it's totally worth it. It stays on all day. It looks very natural. And so I'm gonna show you how to apply it for some really great natural looking brows. So I'm just using a clear gel here and I'm brushing my brows upward. So you don't want sad brows that sag down. You want them always to be excited and pointing up towards the sky. And I'm gonna take the blade side of this. And what I'm gonna do here is create little mini hair and just, right. so I'm gonna use a little fine little brush strokes to fill in the front portion of the brow. And there's a pencil on the other side and I use that Fill in the outer portion. Just give it a full, thicker look. And then I use my clear gel to be sure and set that and brush it up. So, I mean the before and after. So this is after and this is before. I love this product, so go ahead and do the other brow. And fill it in on the other side. And our brows are done. I love brows. I wish I would have never met a pair of tweezers back in junior high, high school days. What a mistake, right? All right, let's keep moving because the clock is ticking and mama's party starts soon, so let's go. So I told you I'm gonna put on strip lashes, so I am gonna apply a base of mascara for that. So I'm just using Too Faced Better Than Sex. It's a sample I got. I'm not crazy about it, to be honest. I don't love it, so that's why I keep it in my drawer here because if I really love a mascara, then it goes with me in my purse everywhere I go. And this just isn't one that I fell in love with. All right, while that dries a little bit, I'm gonna put on my blush. I'm taking a brush and I'm using, again, like I said, I follow Lisa J Makeup and she gives some really good tips on inexpensive makeup that works just as well or better than expensive products. So this is Milani in Dol Dolce Pink. Dolce Pink, Dolce. I really like a bright pop on the cheek. Some people don't like it. I guess maybe that shows my age. I'm a, I'm a 90s chick. I really just, I like a good pink blush. I do have, um, this does have a little bit of shimmer in it, but not much. I don't like a whole lot of shimmer on my skin. I feel like, it's just not good. I forgot this step. So this is my Wet n Wild. I really need some new Wet n Wild highlighter, brow highlighter, another great drugstore find. So after I do my brows, I just wipe that right under them. It gives them a nice clean look and I use my finger to blend that right on in. Makes Everything just look cleaner. It actually makes my brows look like they've been waxed recently, even though I'm too busy to get waxed very regularly. So if you feel the same way, comment below if you're too busy to go get your brows waxed regularly. Or Since today's look is all about a glowy, beautiful, youthful, dewy look, I'm gonna share with you my favorite product, my favorite skin hack for having glowy, beautiful skin, Becca Cosmetics. 
champagne pop highlighter. I love it. I love it so much. It's so beautiful. It's really finely milled. It's fabulous. So I just, it does not take a lot. I know I'm contradicting myself because I said I don't like to use shimmer, but if well placed and strategic, it can look really good and make all the difference in finishing your makeup. So I like to apply it just right above my cheekbone on both sides. And these, this will last forever. It's not the most inexpensive product. It may be $38, something like that at Sephora, but it will last forever because you don't need a lot. I like to highlight the button portion of my nose. So I just do a little bit of a round movement with my brush and it sort of gives the nose a lift. So, so that lifts it and then I take a little bit and I put it on my forehead and then I use a little bit on my chin as well. It just gives a nice glow. So I'm gonna set my concealer and my makeup with this Milani Prep Set and Go transparent face powder. And I use a, a brush that looks like this. I take a little bit and I set underneath my eyes because I don't want that concealer to crepe. I also use it on the outer portions of my nose and on my cupid's bow and then a little bit between my brows. I don't use it all over. Sometimes I will use it all over if I have an event or something, but I don't feel like it today. So, and I, you know, sometimes you just gotta do what you want. Yeah, I have a wet, um, beauty sponge here. It's not wet, it's damp. And I like to finish that off. I like to mash this in all over my skin. And what that does is it sets the makeup and then it also infuses the skin with moisture so that you have an even more glowy look to your skin. Today I'm gonna go for a softer look and I'm gonna use this Laura Mercier product in plum it's Laura Mercier in plum and it's just her thicker liners and I take a small brush like this this one this brush is well loved and I take the eyeliner on the brush and I, I smudge it into my lash line this is kind of a purpley color so black is kind of intense it's pretty I do I wear black occasionally I like it this is just a more natural look, a more, a more soft look. And I see that I have mascara on my lids. I'm gonna take care of that. You just wait till it dries, that's the trick. Don't try to fix it while it's still wet. Don't get upset, just wait till it dries. I'm gonna do the same to the bottom of my lash line. A brush that looks like this, it's sort of got some tight bristles at the bottom. And I'm gonna use Sunbeam, my favorite again, just a little and smudge it in even more. I'm gonna go put on my lashes. I did a tutorial on how to apply false lashes that's really quick and easy. So I'm gonna link that video here. Go watch that to figure out how to put your own lashes on to make it look really quick, easy, and natural. So I'm gonna go do that and I'll be back with my finished look. I'll do some finish, finishing touches for you and show you the final look of my... Okay, I'm back, I have my lashes on. And as promised, I'm gonna show you how you can quickly remove the mascara if you get any on your upper lid. So you just take, you let it dry first and you take a Q-tip, you literally just wipe it off. And it comes right off, no problem. So it's not a big deal if that happens. In the inner corner of this lash does not wanna go down. Sometimes that happens. All right, 
let's go ahead and get finished. I'm gonna finalize everything for y'all. End with one more sweep of my MAC Brow Set. And it's just the MAC Brow Set in clear. I love some high and tight brows. Finish with that. And then all of your hacks for how to not look tired and how to look awake and refreshed. I use this Sephora waterproof, proof, Sephora waterproof glide liner and it's in this nude color, creamy beige. And I take that and I apply it to the waterline, the bottom, my bottom lid. And I finish up with some mascara. This is the this is the L'Oreal Paris Unlimited mascara. I think I've shown y'all so many different brands. It's a lot to keep up with. That. All right, and I just apply a little bit to the bottom lid. the bottom lash line. And then I'm going to add a pop to the inner corner of my eyes with my, my Becca highlighter. I'm just gonna take my finger and literally pop some of the highlighter, the inner corner of my eyes. I'm gonna pop a little bit on my Cupid's bow. Now for lips. I'm gonna use, I love this lip liner. It's new to me. I've used it for a couple weeks now. It's wonderful. It stays all day, y'all. It's called Buff Nude. It Cosmetics Buff Nude Lip Liner. And I love it. I just love it. It stays all day. It's a beautiful color. It goes on so well. Like it feels great when it goes on. I like to overline my lips a little bit. I'm a little extra like that, I guess. So I apply that all over my lips and two products. It's my signature lip color. I feel like this is my, I'm showing you my signature lip color that I do every day. Sometimes I'll add a pop, more of a pop of color, but this is what I usually do every day. And I get so many compliments all the time. So using a nude lip liner, like I just showed you in the It Cosmetics Nude Buff. And I use the lip color Sandwash Pink in Bobbi Brown. And it's just a nice, it's a, a brownie, a brown pink. So I use that and then I finish with this, I started using this Milani. I really like this uh, brand. It's their Keep It Full um, and Prismatic Peach. And I pop that on the top. And we are done. Oops. This is my final look. I'm gonna take my hair down, run your fingers through it, run my fingers through it for a more natural wave. Comment below if you want a hair tutorial on how I get my look. I'm gonna, it'll fall, so it'll be a little more natural looking later. Um, I hope you liked my video. Please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I hope you'll have a wonderful Saturday night. I'm headed to a party, so I'll see y'all next time. Cheers. Bye.